Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and F123. This is probably going to have multiple series attached to it just because there's different game modes. So without further ado, let's carry on. So I'm going to leave this built, relief really filter off for anyone watching or listening does stuff coming to something I'm going to probably get changed and see what we can see. Doesn't matter gearbox because, well, I am a controller. Uh, Let's assist. Oh yeah, do that. Yeah, I don't want, and I don't want the ERS or ERS assist. Oh yeah, I don't want, yeah, don't need that. On screen display. No idea what something is going to be like. Um, yeah, ray tracing go. Hopefully, all settings are actually good. Setting, I can just sound down a bit.
This is your space, you will hear my broadcast. For official TV feed, cinematic, for watching my eyes and drive it, real, makes us a real, real good cinematic. Various ones. There you go. I'll go that way. Let's move on to the constructors. Anthony Davidson is here once again for today's Grand Prix. Yes, I do want Minecrafty Climb a tree. Possibility. Uh, I'm going to pray for everything. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, that was me one of these. Yeah, theme music. So, any music that you hear. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Not bad about that. Crossplay. Yeah, bad for that. Uh, that's all the settings. So... I'll play it. From that mail. I don't know what this is about. Okay, that's just a welcome message. Yeah, it's still not... Hopefully, we'll about that, but... Yeah, I'll say first, we will start with the Breaking Point story, or Breaking Point 2. We'll do middle level because Joel and just want to see what comfortable feels, wheels and flags. We'll do community pit stop experience, so it'll just be hopefully it is just a bat. Uh, Realistic surface type. Oh, I want assisted plot and rather doing simulation. So I will say we'll make sure this is correct for all ones. Yeah, that's all that I want. So, let's actually start Breaking Point 2, which is kind of something Breaking Point for F121. Previously, in Breaking Point. Aiden, please tell us, how does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your very first race? I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes. And tell me about Casper Ackerman. How is that relationship coming along? tried to stop them from signing you. Didn't want to play babysitter. We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. I had a call this morning from Christian Horner. You're being watched. You know what his problem is, don't you? Thinks you're getting too old. 
You want respect, you give respect. That's how it works. How about you give me a little respect? How about you earn it first? I'm done. You what? I'm retiring. Why didn't it work out between you two? He's on more money than me. What? He didn't want me on the team, didn't I? And you thought I was past my best. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, it's been one man at the center of it all. I want us to push for fourth. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. So Alfa Romeo potentially on track to really upset Alfa Tauri here. Butler's closing in on Ackerman. Down the inside he goes, and they hit each other. Butler into the barrier, and that looks to be the end of the race for him. The Dutchman looks to be continuing at. It's great to see him still in this fight, Crofty. Go for third, eight. What about Casper? We let Aiden pass. Let Aiden pass. We did it. We did it. Have you seen the crash yet? Butler's okay? Bruised ego, perhaps. <laughs> Well, that's a very brilliant one Andy, or you could have chosen a couple of other teams other than North Mermaid. So, Chuck one starts well last year with the new regulations. So, 2022, new year for Formula 1, an overhaul of the Senate regulations marks the first major update to the sport for several years. But it's not only the new cars that are doing the heads done in the paddock, as we're about to see. Like bringing a brand new team to the F1 grid. You know, the first time you see a car, your car, with your branding, your name on it, in an official race, alongside Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes, that's what it's all about. You make it sound like a dream come true. If only. When did you first get a sense of what was in store for Connor Sport? 2022 season, <clears throat> straight out of the box. The drivers were always going to clash. That was a calculated risk. But the car, mm, the car, the car had problems. We're midway through the Miami Grand Prix. It's been a cracking race so far, and it's all up for grabs. Absolutely, Crofty. Some fantastic driving here today. Especially, I have to say, from Aidan Jackson. I don't think I've ever seen the Connor Sport car being put to his paces quite like this. This is a team, Connor Sport, that have got a lot to prove this season, but Jackson might just be the man to do it. Right, so I'll see if Jackson's not the only Finish the race. Okay, okay. Aiden, nice job so far. Let's try and bring that gap down to the car ahead if you can. I've got oh, no idea how this car's going to handle, so, because this is actually quite bearing when we finish drive. Oop, here we are. Oh, hello. Oh, sorry, Yuki. Oh, come on. Let's let me go, Yuki. Okay, now stay. Now, so far, the objective is just to finish the race. Ooh. Battery charge is high. Let's use that overtake button a bit more. Yeah, what do you think I'm doing? Run straight by the side of the bit. That's it. Good luck. Good luck. How far away that is? Ooh. All right, come on. Back up, Schumacher. Ooh. Down the inside. Sorry. Getting real spin. Okay, good work. Great pass. Ooh. Ooh, that was all good. The entire car goes because you can see why I am in relation to the racing line in the corners. Ooh. 
Flash is right. The ONS and the ORS, the manuals. And we start a monster. Cool. Sorry. The moon now is way back. Where is it? There he is. Now I've got noise ahead with Bottas. Let's go. Uh, let's just reduce the bars a little bit as well. Oops. Something was really locking up, but I don't think it was the front, so. Was a bad drive in the south. Still, I'm not within the DRS my side. Oh, now I can do that in the first sector. Ooh. There's our film. Can I get down the inside of noise? No. Nope. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, that's very wide. Ooh, that kid. Oh, it's really into the value. The OS, look, up there. That was not expected to hit. Open eyes, and then. Ooh, there's pot off. Come on. Whoa. Um. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, so the tire is about even. So it's not looking too bad for me. I'm definitely not going to pass these places and you're ever going to watch. Because they're going to be like hundreds of people passed around me. Car ahead's coming to fit the mediums. Car ahead now running medium tyres. Okay. I'm not going to bother about them. Ooh, come on. Oh, I'm too bad. Ah, there's a lot there for me. Ooh. I'm going to have to figure something out that one of them in particular. Might be just have to lift off. Boys. Okay, no DRS, but that's fine. We can say that. I'll be a bad thing from Carlton to Carlton to Everton. Ooh. Okay, so I've got Gasly and Hamilton in front. Ooh, no, I've not done that well. That was bad. Okay, so the gap to the car ahead, 1.6 seconds. Yeah, and uh, well. Now I'm going to go on just because he's got this guy, BRS and Hamilton. I feel like the brakes were getting ready to lock up, possibly in the points. Oh, I do like BRS though. Well, I can do better than what I have been, time wise. I feel like I'm missing the 8, I'm just missing 8 axes all over the place. That's not bad for me. Ooh. Yeah, that kid's gonna be a killer. 
around the outside of Gasly. That's all the DR, that's all the DRS used. Dive bottom on Hamilton. Whoa! Can't feel like he started to turn in. Oh, maybe potentially. Uh, probably one of the better ways of taking that. Oops, where is she been? Right. Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. The fuel economy actually seems to be pretty good. Oh dear, what's going on? Getting points. Well, it's a post race for Miami frustration, an engine issue forces Connor Sports Aid injection to, to, excuse me, to retire from the Miami Grand Prix, and he a few laps from the Atlanta race. Yeah. Let's see what the potential fallout for this is. If it's not one thing, then it's another. Did you not see what happened out there today? Aiden, I agree with you 100%. We are doing everything we can. I know the car is not perfect, but... Andreo, it's every race. Do you know how I look losing easy points like this? Knock, knock. <laughs> Sounds like there's a ride show going on in here. What am I missing? Not now, Devon. Aiden and I were just discussing issues with the car. Again? I thought that was all in hand. I, I had no problems today. It was smooth. You know what they say? A shoddy workman always blames his tools. <laughs> mate, 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 mate. You can look at my setup data any time you want. I've told you that. It might help. And I've told you before. It's not a setup issue. The problem is... Jackson, that was the problem with the 2022 season. Ask anyone. I mean, at the end of 21, everyone thought Aiden was going to be signed by one of the big three. But I uh, guess they couldn't reach an agreement, so we both signed for Connor Sport. And do you think that affected Aiden? <laughs> That's no secret. Now, for that 22 season, Jackson was a nightmare. Yeah, and you did not go to hell without having a bet. Right, so we're in the hub. So between story events, we'll be doing here. So latest news, social feeds, emails and even get phone calls from other characters throughout the course of Breaking Point 2. Character and control often these subs can change from busy to busy to each one offering a different perspective on live at Connor Sports. Performance and reputation, from here you'll also check the level of your performance and reputation. These new additions bring Breaking Point 2 will fluctuate based on, based on the actions both on and off track. In a higher gaming, a higher level in each region will result in a wider range of responses available in both press, interviews, and department events. Performance just related to how oh, a self and the team perform during races, or affected by such things as finishing the session, finishing possession, or if you manage to secure the passive slap of the race, be mindful of the factors outside. Of the race will so may affect performance, okay? Reputation is how well we do with media, fans, and the F well, and how the F1 world 
see you, you and the team. Oh, we're getting frustrated in post race interview through to performing to outperform your arrivals on track, all this will reflect by your reputation performance and then plug into actions. So news, social posts, emails and phone calls can all be impacted by your actions elsewhere. The icons will highlight if a piece of content is present due to my actions with each representing a different source. Okay, so I'll see what happens. So, finish up position, so rating, etiquette, so, and then just essentially like, like, like the game pass stuff. All right, so what news is the uphill struggles at Kona Sport? The challenging news. Oh, who's this? Andrea. Aiden, hey, I wanted to give you a heads up. Now look, the crew has shared the latest telemetry data with us. Fine, um, but I, I don't think it will tell me anything I don't already know. Just humor me, okay? I'd like you to go through it. Let me know if anything jumps out. I'm keen to iron out these problems as quickly as possible for you. Sure thing. Thanks, Andrea. No thanks needed. I've got your back, Aiden. Remember what I said when you joined the team. I won't let you down. Akamon won't let me hear the end of it. <laughs> yeah, sounds like Casper. You know he told me the same, right? It's just... It's just tricky, what with the car and... Devin poking his nose in any chance he gets. There is a lot going on, for sure, but we're a team. We'll get there. I'll have a word with the Devon. Tell him to give you some space. Both on and off the track, okay? <laughs> yeah, alright. Good luck with that. Yeah, but you will need all the luck, that, that ain't gonna happen. Uh, so yeah, uphill struggles, so yeah, just sent a news article about the team and the challenges face because it's actually the season formed by Ernie CEO of a supposedly known, well, most sport brand. So that, and that was Conrad's, just about how Aiden Jackson, Devon Bullock, and our teammates, we get yeah, family, so now let's see who's sending on social, team at Ardick, who's quite a well known F1 YouTuber, who I do watch a fair few of, so he, he's also a good for a laugh if you want to watch him. Ian Fan, okay, it's a newborn child, but it's been more, a bit more time in R&D. Yeah. Power of another F F1 YouTuber, also with Lando Norris's Quadrant brand. So that's just all that. And David Coulthard as well. Anthony Davidson. Uh, what emails are they? But uh, moving forward, team, I appreciate how hard everyone is working. We are getting so much right. And it'll stand how infuriating it can be for everyone when a problem persists and simply won't go away. Rest assured, both myself and the management team are actually you know, are acutely aware of the continuing issues with the car and um, will be enacting the plan to adjust them all as quickly as possible, getting the car to optimal performance and, leave, and alleviating everyone's stress levels in the process is our top priority. And I'll probably want to get the reliability sorted first. I'll be in touch with each car separately so we can formulate a unified strategy a little bit more than you have for your hard work and your own. Davidoff Bowler, who's dead and start. Thank you. And we've got a board we've achieved so far to come from nothing but such a strong and passionate foundation, something short of remarkable. And let's get some serious points and show the world what we're capable of. Okay, so that's all good. So let's actually now move on to chapter two. Ooh, six weeks later, Canadian Grand Prix. When the sports made the season continues to be marred by inconsistency, but team principal Andrea Connor remains hopeful that their luck will start to change as the paddock heads to Montreal. Oh, what's going on? Oh, your boss felt the course Great point two, you will not only control the drivers, but also Connor Sports team principal Andrea Connor. The 
Department events during these visits to the Team Data Centre, Andrea will have to make difficult decisions covering a range of topics during department events. Even more, how you choose to respond to these events will have a direct effect on many things, such as your performance reputation. They may even affect bonus objectives for current races. Hey, okay. boss, got a couple of minutes. Uh, oh, local. Oh, what's local media saying? With this being a home circuit, Stroll and the TP of all have been all over local media this weekend. One particular outlet appeared bent on using our recent struggles to pump up the expectations of the home drivers. They indicated that Connor Small will usually follow for the Canadian pair and our drivers shouldn't put up and our drivers should put up with much competition and then this is going to affect our bonus objective so confident. Fodder or should I show back who's fodder or could it ignore I won't be drawn into this, we have girls that we know all the performance we expect from our drivers. Yeah, we'll come, we're going to show them who it is. Then we was on a popular streamer's channel earlier this week and promised a behind the scenes tour of our factory for next Thursday. This clashes with our scheduled team building days for the engineers back at the factory. Normally, I'd say we don't let Devon's flights of fancy into any of our plans. But our video has received a lot of views. Streamer has contacted us to confirm this all, which was actually what I would like to take. So we can either re confirm to re and reschedule team building. Neutral cancel team building it let us talk go ahead, but Devin is getting in front of that camera in Legion Tour and he promises he delivers. Or we can decline. Devin doesn't run the steam even if he thinks he does. If team building goes ahead, cancel the tour. I'll say cancel the tour, get the car sorted out. Ooh. Right, look, we've, uh, I think we've probably neutralised the reputation. Uh, so far with the performance, I've uh, increased performance because of that though. Continuing card troubles at Cardinal Sport, new teams that spinning in wheels. Well, what's that I wanted? Andreo, just going over those uh, last minute strategy changes you sent over. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make it clear, whatever happens out there today, I get pit priority, yeah? <laughs> well, we'll see how the race develops. If you need priority, you'll get it. But I can't go into the race with that on the table. Look, 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 look. we all know Jackson's not pulling his way. Now, if you want the points, I need to make sure he's not going to get in my way. Do you get me? Devon, 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 we've talked about this. Give Aiden some space. It's not about you getting in the way of each other. It's about everyone pulling together, racing as a team. Of course, of course. Yeah, so, uh, pit priority, yeah? <laughs> All right, ciao. Uh, Devon being his usual wholesome self. And I suppose that you would be army of the army, Devon, so don't get that ego of yours in the way. So yeah, clearly an issue. New kids on block. Talking about the article about Andreo, all the champions, coming out of the final she came. They're going for a stroll and see if you go for glory. What's social media saying? Cool pod. I was about to say cool pod's been a bit optimistic there. Anything else? Oh, what's that? Devon Bowler, really? Oh, that's a bit of an advert, sweet. Okay, Melody Pinkham, Jimmy Broadbent. Yeah, thanks a lot, Jerry. Basically, in a one of his, it's going to get into the Wall of Champions. Right. Emails. Oops. Oh, Casper. Right. Oh, well. Just looking at our previous interview. Okay. From Davidoff to all of the team. And he's supposed to be there, going to be there hungry. Uh, yeah, right. Our uh, operations manager. So, confirming our dad's flight. Anyway, Andrea's flight, not to Japan. 
Okay. We can preview. Probably about the weapon type conditions. So, two orders, three mediums, eight stars, and we're starting. Well, we're going to be running in 15 potentially. But let's get to the race. So, major race, we have several laps remaining. Adrian Jackson pushes on as he hopes to secure some much needed points for Connor Sports. Let's see what actually happens. Into turn two we go now. Butler comes out of the pit lane. Jackson is right there with him. This is dicey, Ant. Neither one of these two wants to give way. This would have been a lot cleaner if Jackson had just let him go. He's just not giving him an inch. Well, you can say that on driver though. Touching there as well as we head down the straight towards the next chicane. This might go well. Separate either car and through the chicane we go. And now Jackson sends them both off the track and Butler over a curb. That looked nasty. And I do believe that one of their cars is damaged here, Crofty. I think it's Butler. Damage, Ant, but also they've lost places too. Unbelievable and totally unnecessary as well. Well, one damaged car, places now to make up. What a complete mess that was. Yes, it was. I'm very bothered. I didn't want to. What was that? Where did he even think it was going to go? Okay, calm yourself down. We'll look at it in the debrief later. But right now, I want you to go and get those places back. Come on, let's go. Yep, right, so I've got a replay 13. Out of every least. Oh, was already. Okay. That's pretty much very bad as that one. Ooh. Alright, the very subjective finish ahead of Skull and the two feet. And, well, not. Ooh. Well, that's Q Man. Make out the line you need to be. Alright, need to be doing some of that. No. I want to get that bit. Oh dear. Uh, I don't think it's time to be realistic for the moment. I'm going to dive bomb. I'm going there. Uh, you see everything? Ooh, not the OS actually. There's the TP. Let's get him. Ooh, no, come on. No, do that. Punish the game. Look, I like it. I need to learn how to do that. A lot better. Inside of both Ocon and Latifi. Whoa! Alright, there's our one. Team 13. The question is, what position is Stroll in? And I've got two and a half seconds to make up an album first. Ooh! That back end was Gary. Let's use a bit of ERS, probably go just about 50. That was better. That was a lot better. And that's just five laps of fuel remaining. A little bit too here on the top of that. Okay, so we're going 
Dark Cat, you probably have some of the dogs falling out of them. Yeah. Come on up. I need to make it a lot more time than this. Yeah, that was all good. Oh, come on. Alright, uh, that was good. Yeah. It's all a simulation that we got, we just Alright, see you on after over to Oh, what the? One of them must have turned in. So I've got four laps to get two and a half seconds on a stroll. Oh, yeah. So, stroll to the race. Caution, caution. Okay. Did you just... Okay, clear. I thought that would be turning to the wall, that's just because you have to be tired. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Not too bad, I'm getting about six times on stroll. Ooh. Yeah, definitely don't want to go back here. Got the little bit there. And because I'm already catching up the scroll, I'm not going to be using the RS actively. Ooh! Get that! Oh, I'll get that out of the wall, I do not know. Okay, you're in the top ten. Uh, yes, that's all I really, so a lot of time can be still found. Ooh. That doesn't seem too bad. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. Oh yeah, that's that's cool. Because that's all this left. Huh? Uh, I have to run on the three times fine to do PRS. Ooh, come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Yeah, that's a good job. Ooh. Now I'm off time, mate. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. It'd be all right for that. It doesn't matter anyway. That wasn't too bad. Especially until we get to the time from here. How did I get past this lap? That was actually a surprise. There are more no positions to gain. For all that one, risky one. So, yeah. We definitely don't want to be doing it like that. Come on. I'm looking to back a bit that I'm right as it came available. There we go, there we go, there we go. I'm gonna have to Ooh. Oh, I've got to throw and I've got to have it at the same time, so I'm going to run it on there, yes. Woohoo! Come on, I get a bottle. Okay, mate, this is the final lap 
Oh, come on, Walter, screw you, I was there. Any chance I can get to know that? Alright, and the answer should be yes. Oh, as long as I don't have to go. Oh, no, it's still going to for me. What? No, that wasn't going to me. Got one lap of fuel remaining. But I'm just going to have to use all the RNS on the back straight. Whoa. Back end didn't feel good. Right. PRS deployed. Half on the Just get the drive out. And that is sixth place for Aiden Jackson and Connor Sports. Alright, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Still don't know how we got past this lap. So it's been a day of drama here at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve today. Brad, what stood out for you? Well, it must be the Connor Sport moment between the two drivers there. Banging wheels, not giving each other room on track. It was entertaining, of course, but definitely for all wrong reasons. Yeah, we enjoyed it, certainly. And Aidan Jackson, well, he'd have enjoyed the result. He did well to recover. He did do well to recover, but, you know, you never want to see two cars, if, if you're the team boss, seeing two cars hit each other. It's rule number one. Don't hit your teammate. Given all the problems they've had this season, though, Getting one car over the finish line, that's probably a big result for today. Here come our winners now, a thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. Well, it's a good size that one, it's only because, probably because Charles retired. Well, the celebration goes on. Oh, well, it's a second race, so what's going on post race? Not big ever changes. Jackson and Butler's rivalry from the past two seasons seems to be alive and well. Even when their teammates, their unwillingness to see position to each other about the Canadian Grand Prix is a bad look for Connor Sports. Now time for the pull out. Now, performance is now level 2, reputation is still level 1. So, anything out of the news? Climb to Connor Sport, if it's not the car, it's the drivers. Oh dear. This isn't good. Aiden, just, uh... Just a heads up, we're putting the debrief back by 30 minutes. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Listen, while I've got you on, what happened out there today? It wasn't my fault. Devon thinks he's the only one driving. I don't want to dwell on it too much at the meeting, but this is not how you run a team. You know this. <sighs> of course. It's just... No, no, I don't want to hear it. We have enough problems as it is. Whatever has gone on between you two in the past, I need you to put it to bed. Sure. I don't want to have to talk to you like this, Aiden, and I'll be saying the same to Devon. Come on now. Sure. See you at the debrief. Just all sorts of climbing through between Jackson and Bolton. So, yeah, that's just going on about the clash between. Jackson and Butler, who won't give each other a single inch of space out on track, with Butler taking damage and Jackson scrabbling to recover places. It's clear that Paul may not be well on the sport. Well, it would have if Devin just didn't go over the curve and actually went for the gap between the barrier and the curve, so he wouldn't damage the car as much. Whether an oversight strategy and unfortunate mistake of signs of an old rivalry re emerging, well, things for sure, after escalating car troubles. 
The last thing Color Sport needs an outlaw drivers that can't get along. Who? Well, yeah, you know, don't always play nice, of course. There's no such thing as home advantage, and this has happened because of how we performed in the race. Great expectations, even so, much was made on social media about one outlaw's belief that the Canadian pair would easily dispatch both Color drivers here in Montreal. At the end of the day, however, Aiden Jackson managed to get the last lap, last laugh, as he crossed the line in his yeah, so one ahead of both Stroll and Latifi, much to the relief of Connor Sport team principal and owner Andrea Connor. Personally, I pretend there is no that there is no home advantage. Back in the casting days, I received nothing but heckles and jeers from the home crowd. If they were to provide a statistical advantage, I would have won my home tour and I would probably be in a single seater in a million spot behind our box screen at midnight. I thought they were probably just trying to prepare if it was going to happen at other tracks and just have to learn to get blanky towels. Uh, I was going on social media to finish six, you know, to finish in six, but I thought it was like that, and that's one, you know, all they should have, <laughs> about all they should be sucked, yeah. Well, they can't bring in the police, they'll bring in the drama. Who crafty? Big place for aid and some result considering, yeah. In a promising start to the new drama effect area, yep. Going back to the journey, actually went for post board and passed this up, yep. Oh, and that's because we're actually goddies. Yep, was it bad? No, oh, I was. What's another positive thing for us? Okay, so lots of emails. Oh, Ooh, Brian, who I believe is the alt, yeah. Former team layers on back in the original breaking point. And he seems to be in oh, Barbados. Yeah. Some things have changed by that. I mean Bolo's still a clown. Yes he is. And he probably fight a little bit. I can't say I miss miss it to be honest. Retirement life is suiting me just fine. Sun, sea, sand, and all the trimmings to go with it. I was asleep on the beach last night, had to walk to the walk of shame back to the hotel this morning. Uh, yeah. Andrea, everyone for FIA, everyone standing in debrief, the point, meeting about by half an hour, everyone's got time to grab a coffee and take a comfort break beforehand, which I suggest you will do before I'll discuss. Well, I've out there today's not called but Connorswell, expect better. Uh, yeah, and then the interview in the morning, so. Well, I'll say I'm actually going to end it here because we've done the first two chapters, so we'll probably see what the rollout is from this afterwards so if you enjoyed any of this leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll hope to see you again next time